Hi guys, my name is Elena Semenek and welcome to my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Today's topic is how to be noticed. I will tell you four major factors, what you should do, what to say, how to say it in order to be noticed. No matter if you are in a bar, in a group of friends, at work, at the end of this video, you will have a unique tool that will make your life easier and happier. So let's start. How to be noticed. Rule number one, motions create emotions. Move your arms, create a space under your arms here. Move your arms to the side, uh, up and down, forward and back. Remember, motions create emotions. So motions create energy and people will notice it. For example, if you're in a bar and you are standing still, uh, probably people will not notice you unless you are a supermodel. But if you're gonna be dancing, moving, you know, your shoulders, your arms, people will notice you. People will pay attention to you. Move your arms, your legs, your shoulders, your head, your eyes. Do what you think is right for you. Use any options that you have. Remember, motions create emotions. How to be noticed, rule number two. Be a positive judge. What do I mean by that? Find at least one good quality about a person and focus on it. For example, it can be as simple as great job, excellent choice, uh, nice shirt, nice purse. Uh, try to be a little bit more personal when you uh, say a compliment to a person. Do not flatter them because if you flatter, people will notice it eventually. So uh, try to use short version. The shorter, the better. This will create a positive connection between you and another person. This person will be drawn to you because you found something to admire in him. And who does not want to be surrounded by people who think that you are great? You are a great friend, you are a great co-worker, you are a great husband, boyfriend, a great neighbor. How to be noticed? Rule number three. Use your voice to create emotions. Use your intonation. Uh, make your voice louder or quieter. Make it stronger or softer. Use your voice, your intonation to create feelings and emotions. People are always, always attracted by positive or negative emotions. Use your voice, your intonations to bring feelings, to bring emotions. Emotions are what every person needs. This is what attracts us in other people, in TV commercials, in movies, in stories. Use your voice to create emotions. How to be noticed? Rule number four. Speak without words. For example, if you walking on the street and see a person across the street, when that person is looking at you, nod your head, uh, wave your hand, say hi or smile. Uh, or for example, when you are driving and another driver let you go in front, also nod your head, say thank you with your lips. This way you create a habit or you will feel comfortable talking to strangers. And why is it important? For example, you come in at your new work and there are a lot of co-workers that see you for the first time. Because you already have a habit talking to strangers, you can smile, you can uh, nod your head, you can be so friendly and it will be natural. So people around you will think that you're a nice person. They will be drawn to you and you will feel comfortable because you already have that habit. If you want to be noticed, uh, your goal is to create as many connections as possible with strangers, bank tellers, uh, salespeople, uh, drivers on the street, neighbors. Create as many connections as possible. Make it a habit. Let's summarize how to be noticed. There are four rules. Rule number one, motions create emotions. Move your arms, move your shoulders, move your head, move your legs, be dynamic. Rule number two, be a positive judge. 
Be honest. Tell people what they do best. Uh, tell them what do you like in them. Compliment other people around you. Rule number three. Use your voice, your intonation to bring feelings, to bring emotions. Uh, use your intonation, raise it, lower it, make it stronger, make it softer. Bring emotions with your intonation. And rule number four is to create a connection with everyone around you. The more connections, the better. In a short period of time, not right away, after practicing, people will notice you. They will be drawn to you. Check the links below the video. There are a lot of exciting topics. Sex versus money, why a man needs a woman, why a woman needs a man. And there are a lot of psychological tools that will make your life easier and happier. Subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.